My name is Kathleen. Um, I'm a senior biochemistry, chemistry double major at Stockton. Um, so this is like my research. Um, I've been working on this since I was a freshman. Um, we published this research over the summer. Um, what we have here is two different complexes that we made. The one on the left is um, a fluorine-based complex. The one on the right is a fluorine-based complex. Um, the only difference in synthesis is that the one on the left has um, a, an ammonium hexafluorophosphate salt, which contains fluorine. The one on the right does not have that salt. So the end result is that the compound on the left, which is green, um, contains fluorine atoms. The one on the right contains fluorine atoms. The visible difference is that the one on the left grows, glows much more brightly than the one on the right. Um, and this has really interesting properties for organic light emitting devices. Um, <clears throat> my name is Soki and I'm an uh, assistant professor of chemistry. So this is a very interesting phenomenon. So we just published uh, as Kathleen says. So this is coming from very interesting bonding difference between tin and uh, fluorine and tin and chlorine based one because tin and fluorine has very strong sigma bonding so that they change all optical emission property. That's why you see green uh, emission that be coming from fluorine based one. So they make huge difference between fluorine and chlorine. So we are looking at some, we can, this is phosphor, green phosphor. So we like to make light emitting diode using, uh, by collaboration with Brazil and we have a lot of Rutgers colleagues and then we working together make the actual device for future. So hopefully that will work then we can see another publication.